Hello there, Mark Suddeth, HurricaneTrack.com here about 2.30 in the morning on Friday, September the 8th, and I want to go over the latest on Hurricane Irma in terms of the computer models, mainly comparing the GFS versus the Euro here. In fact, that's exactly what I'll be doing. Real quick, though, the 2AM Intermediate Advisory. Irma has lost a little bit of its punch, which is great, but it's still a Category 5. How many times can you say that, that... It's been weakening, but it is still a Category 5. The air pressure is a remarkable 925 millibars. And, of course, it's still moving off to the west-northwest at 16 miles per hour. Look at that, the trio of hurricanes out here. There's Jose, here's Irma, and here's Katia in the southwest Gulf of Mexico. Real quick look at the satellite imagery for Irma here. Uh, kind of get an understanding as to why it has weakened some but you can also see that it still definitely has that look to it. It lost a lot of its deeper convection, but the eye is still very clear, and overall the structure is very round in its appearance there. There is no shear that we can see. In fact, the outflow is expanding, and so it may be just going through a temporary pause. Don't be fooled by this. Uh, these can sort of slack off a little bit and then come back and really come back with a vengeance when they do and be even stronger than they were before and I'm most worried about that through this corridor right up here as it approaches Florida where these water temperatures and the upper ocean heat content a lot of people talking about that and uh, it's true it's very high across that region so let's look at the euro this is the initialization of the ECMWF model and uh, we're going to compare this to the GFS so this is the initial map valid this evening uh, and again, this is sort of your time zero. And here's your big old ridge of high pressure here over the Atlantic. There's Irma down there, uh, just north of the uh, coast of Hispaniola, just north of Haiti to be specific. The GFS at that same time, very accurately depicted for the most part. All right, so let's move out to 24 hours with the Euro. Oh, let's turn that down just a little bit. 24 hours with the Euro versus 24 hours out. So this would be Friday night, okay? So this is Euro, GFS, they're both very similar. Saturday night, the Euro is in the Florida Straits, uh, and the GFS is just a little bit to the east and much, much stronger. It shows 906 or 908 millibars. Um, yeah, is that going to be correct? We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, and you can even see here, by the way, you know, we've got this large area of high pressure out here, and then another one over here, and then this is your alleyway. There's just really nowhere for this to go. It's, you know, this little short wave energy up here, not enough to pull it on out to sea, but enough to induce this northward, northern and northward turn that we're going to see that will ultimately, it appears, bring it into Florida. So that's hour 48. This is hour 72. Uh, from the European, and this is hour 72 from the GFS. Now here, even though the difference is only a few, uh, I don't know, the width of Florida basically, but that's a pretty big difference in terms of who has the impacts uh, and how great they are. So at 72 hours, not a lot of divergence in the model spread here overall, but enough that we're talking about the core of what's left over of Irma, you know, passing potentially over uh, the eastern side of Florida and making its way up towards where I am right now in New Smyrna Beach, as an example, versus the European, which generally keeps Irma uh, over on the west side and closer to west central Florida, let's say. So that's going to matter a lot in terms of who receives the biggest impacts, and it's impossible to know. How much do you hate people saying that these days? Uh, how that's going to pan out, all right? Exactly where this will end up. So that's 72 hours. This is 96 hours from the European model. And here's 96 hours from the GFS. They are both fairly similar. And the idea is that it comes up here and then turns into the Florida Peninsula, uh, maybe near Key Largo and vicinity, somewhere down there. Um, and then maybe over Miami and just, you know, the whole part of southern Florida here potentially gets pummeled with this 
Uh, and it's going to be a matter of, at uh, some point coming up, maybe later in the day Friday, we should start seeing it on radar out of Miami. So that's the comparison overall. And I'm just going to run through these one at a time. In other words, we'll show the euro. This is the initial euro, 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours, 96 hours. GFS, 0 hours, 24, 48 7296. So this little hook that the GFS kind of tries to do like this, and then it brings it back in, uh, we just have to see how much offshore it really gets, okay? And that's still far enough out, day three, day four, that there is enough variability that we should watch that, because obviously if it gets back out over the water even a little bit, um, it could retard the de-intensification process, put it that way. So, obviously a lot going on. By the way, those maps generated by Levi Cowan. TropicalTidbits.com, I bet his server is just smoking hot. Uh, and he has done such a great job coding those maps so that we can do some comparisons like that. And we appreciate that. Uh, that's a fine young man. He's at FSU, and he is going to be... Uh, you're going to hear a lot from him in the years to come, I do believe. All right, that is it. I'm going to get some sleep. In the morning, Zach Fredella from New Orleans is going to produce a video discussion concerning Irma and the rest of the goings-on in the tropics, and he'll post that with a blog, etc., so that I can get some sleep, because tomorrow it's go time. The first camera and weather station system that I want to set up that will feed into our app and to our subscriber site exclusively will be down along the area near Key Largo. I will talk about that more and when I when I do my morning update tomorrow uh, around mid morning. Okie dokes, and then we're going to go from there. Got a lot of work to do as Irma closes in. I'm out. I am Mark Sutter, HurricaneTrack.com in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. I'll have more for you uh, in the mid morning hours on Friday.